Hi, and welcome to Furious Fiction. I'm Mark Muschin. Today we have with us Robert Olin Butler, who's one of the greatest authors in the United States. We're so pleased to, pleased to have you with us, Bob. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my pleasure, Mark. I, I wanted to ask you, um, you know, you, Bob's won the Pulitzer Prize. He's written all sorts of novels in all different sorts of genres, literary, uh, uh, there was a science fiction, there's short stories, there was even a romance in there somewhere. Uh, and and I, do you feel pressure, you don't seem to, to kind of keep up with yourself? I mean, do you feel like, well, I gotta, I gotta maintain something or? You know, I've published um, 20, 20 book length volumes of fiction over the um, 32 years I've been publishing. And uh, this, this series I'm writing now, the two books that you're talking to me about, Mark, it's the first time in my career that I've actually written two books in a row that seem to be from the same author. Um, <laughs> that, that sense of, you know, of reinventing myself each time is, has been st the, 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 the kind of ironic through line through my career. Uh, uh, so, uh, no, I don't, I don't feel any pressures whatsoever. <laughs> Well, well, the latest book is The Star of Istanbul, and it's, it's kind of a mystery thriller type book. It's set uh, uh, right at the beginning of World War, World War I. And, uh, and, and it's interesting. First, it's so wonderful to read that type of book written by somebody who can really write. And, uh, and I'll, I'll tell our viewers that uh, part of this involves a trip on the Lusitania, and we all know what happens on the Lusitania, but the way it's described here is really remarkable. Uh, and I, uh, I, I, I know you had to do a lot of research on that, but how did you come up with the, 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 with the Lusitania bit there? Well, um, the, I came up with that in the sense that, in the same way I've uh, sort of need to back up to how I've come into this whole series. Sure. Because given who my central character is and what his fundamental yearnings are and the aspect of the early 20th century that is tapped into my sense of the zeitgeist. The reason I have written, yeah, de facto science fiction, a fantasy, I wrote a book set in hell, a hit work, a history, I wrote a book through the, the Great Depression, um, as you mentioned, a romance and, and other so-called genres too. But I've arrived at all of these things in, in the way that literary fiction, which is just, just another kind of genre in some sense, um, is driven. And that is, I don't choose the genre and then fill it with the content of a book. The contents of the book comes from the way I'm responding to the world, the zeitgeist. Mm. And, and mm. when I do that and feel the need to express my vision of 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 the sense of order and meaning behind the chaos of life on planet Earth, it, it, it finds its own natural, organic form as, as an expression of that deep vision. And it's, it, it's only that way that I arrive at the so-called genre elements. Well, well just real, if real you quick, think about just real quick on that, I mean, when you write, and, and I, I hear exactly what you're saying, when you write in this format, I mean, obviously there's certain conventions and you, and you cover those very well. Is it a different writing process for you? I mean, are, are you know, times compressed or you do it more or less the same way for everything? I do it pretty much the same way, except my writing days are now 14 hours long instead of four <laughs> or five. Because of the very thing you asked about to begin with, which is things like the Lusitania. Right. Um, I, am, I am meticulous about my research and the macro research of what's going on in the world is not the difficult thing. It's what are their shoes and what are their ties and what is the, what are, what's the material if they're driving in an automobile, what's the automobile and what is, the, you know, the throttle and the spark on the, on the, on the driving, uh, on the steering wheel and, and what's the street made of and what's the smell in the air, that kind of moment to moment sensual detail, which gives literary fiction its, its particular line-to-line uh, -line impact on a reader. That stuff is extraordinary 
lead, uh, uh, challenging to, um, to, uh, to research. And, and that takes a long time every day. I mean, it's, it's there, it's available. I could not have written this series of novels up to my literary standards if it weren't, well, I sh to put it simply, I should be dedicating these books to, to Google. Um, <laughs> well, well just, just real quick, you know, before, it's, it's, <laughs> before, we have, yeah. before we have to go, and we're almost out of time, what, what's the next novel in the series? What comes after Star of Istanbul? I'm sitting at my writing desk, and, and you call, and, and I will go right back to it when we stop in the midst of this 14-hour day. It's called The Empire of Night, and I am probably within two or three weeks of finishing that. So book number three is on its way, set in London, and then on to uh, undercover into, into Germany itself, and mostly Berlin. Well, we'll look forward to it. Thanks so much for being with us, Bob. We really appreciate it. Robert Olin Butler here on Furious Fiction. I'm Mark Mushin. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.